people and welcome to my CS50W Project 3 submission mail. So I've created two users here that are going to be sending emails back and forth. I'm going to log in. All right, and here we are. The first piece of functionality is going to be the ability to send emails. So I'm going to send it to the other account I've made. And then after you send an email, you're taking that to send mailbox automatically. And I'm going to send a couple more. Yeah, for this one, we'll try an invalid email. So this one's at Gmail instead of at example. As you can see, that username doesn't exist. And then one more. For this one, I'm going to include multiple recipients. Okay, now I'm going to log out and log into the other account I've created. And this is what the mailbox looks like. And as you can see, it's sorted by uh, whichever email was sent the latest. So test one was the first email we sent, so it's at the bottom. And test three was the last email we sent, so it's at the top. And then if I were to click one of these emails and go back, as you can see, it's grayed out here, indicating that's been read. And then let's actually uh, check out one of these emails. So we have uh, the sender, the recipient, subject line, when the email was sent, and then of course the body of the email. And then uh, like I said, when you go back after viewing one, it goes gray. Um, and then for each email, you have the ability to archive it to remove it from your inbox, uh, from your, yeah, from your inbox mailbox and move it to the archived mailbox. And then you can archive it too, as you can see. And then um, the ability to reply. So I'm gonna reply to this one. So it auto populates uh, the sender, uh, the recipients, the subject line, which now has an RE suffix, and then what the email that you're replying to is right here. So I'm going to do a reply, submit it, and now I'm going to log back into user one. And here's that reply. And then if I choose to reply to that again, it's the same thing. And the subject line is the same. And uh, here's the reply at the top. As you can see, it's separate from the test two down here. So yeah, and all that functionality is on one page, as you can see. No extra pages needed. And that's about all the functionality for this project. Uh, thanks for checking it out.